dear diary. Me and Angro both had some quality bonding time. Getting pretty drunk on honey mead. She but I could not bite a whale and draculatize it. I proved her wrong. Blech. I still have the taste of particles in my mouth, and that whale, he turned stark white and is pissed as hell. But, you know, a whale could be useful. Hmm. As we begin in media res ho 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 you've all been pretty naughty haven't you little grendel absolutely as he lift up his wreath but we cut to johnny appleseed in the hallway being surrounded wolves and spiders on one side an animated rug slithering towards you. What do you do? Uh, pulling up my character sheet. Oh. Uh, shoot. Um, he'll, uh, Get his shillelagh out. So, um... Man, that was the previous day. He's just gonna misty step uh, over... 5, 10... Five. He's gonna misty step over here. Alright, as you, woof, turn into apple leaves, uh, appearing uh, across the room. Um, and, that is uh, a bonus action to cast that. Yep. Uh, he does not have any weapons. Wait, no, does he? Oh. He does have a quarter staff. I guess he'll uh, go up to the spider and take a whack at it. All right. An eight will unfortunately miss it as it kind of like hops a little to the side. That's it for Johnny. All right. Fox. Okay, before Fox can do anything, uh, Shaggy going absolutely ballistic comes forward and bites the wolf. All right. Does 12 hit? A 12 just barely misses it as he snaps it at the dog, sort of responds in kind, whipping its head. Okay. Um, then I'm going to shoot it with my revolver hmm? uh, do you have I have, you have gunner I assume gunner the one that makes it so you can shoot without getting disadvantaged no no I have, I'll be at disadvantage okay okay where am I here there and yes wait why did I show up I, don't know, I wonder if there we go. Roll, there it okay. is. Roll twenty might be running slow. Yeah, it is. It's that twelve. Uh, a twelve. So it also missed. Uh, will also miss. Is boom. The wolf like kind of snaps at you before you can get a good shot. And that'll be my turn. All right. Uh, we are at Doolittle. Should I run, or should we run Doolittle, or should we have him just kind of retreat back with his animals? Yeah, I think you should probably be more defensive, I would imagine. All right. Paul Bunyan. We don't, want, we don't want any of his birds to get killed while he's in here. On the on the stairs, Paul, uh, Doolittle comes running past you with all his animals yelling, Run away! As he starts scurrying with all of them down the stairs. <laughs> They're like flapping and flying around you. Um, and they're like running under Bay, and Bay is still refusing to move. Um, so they are downstairs, basically. I'm just gonna put him there so we we understand that. Does the pig and the monkey clear out too? Yeah. 
Uh, the pig. The pig and a monkey here. <laughs> the pig is gonna uh, take that opportunity to. Yeah, he's got enough movement to do it. He's gonna again just sort of scurry away. Uh, move the back, and then where is the monkey? Next to Tarzan, as as Chi Chi leaves, Tarzan turns and yells, "Wait, ape together, oh. strong!" Oh no, you know what? Chi Chi's gonna hop on Tarzan's back. Oh, there we go. Oh, you got it. Uh, and while she's on Tarzan's back, uh, she is going to use the help action. Uh, to help Tarzan with one attack. It's going to move her away. But she is on top of Tarzan's back. Do I have a, a thing that might help that? I don't have a monkey, but I got this symbol. <laughs> oh, crap, I've skipped past it. Dr. Watson. All right. I'm going to do the one thing that I think makes sense to handle a rug. I'm gonna walk on over it, walk on over to it with my cane. And then I'm gonna put my cane down on it and activate my cane. My my cane is an immovable rod. Okay. Basically like pushing it and getting it stuck to the floor. All right, I need a, give, just give me an attack. Okay. You want an improvised weapon? Yeah. Okay. Nice. As you, boom, pin this uh, rug down, it's struggling uh, to try and move, but at the moment, it is currently restrained. There, it's restrained. There. Um, as this rod is holding it down. It ends my turn. Mm. All right. Tarzan. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, DM, Grendel got, got skipped. skipped. Yeah, Grendel got skipped. Oh, Gre okay, Grendel then Tarzan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Grendel's gonna brandish his, his his overly large claw. I have a present for you, fat man. The gift of grim repose. Yeah, what well, he said. And, uh, he'll take an attack. He'll, um, he'll, he'll use, uh, whatever the hell it is. Um, uh, the advantage boost. No, reckless. Reckless. Yeah, sorry, brain fart. A 23 will hit. Ah, crap. I forgot to use a bonus action. Um, may I use a bonus action first? Is that all right? Yeah. Sorry to do everything out of sequence. Oh, uh, he will, again, cough on his claw and coat it in the silver. <laughs> as, uh, as you do, he kind of goes, No, Tiny Tim, that's not... Oh! <laughs> he gets clawed. All right, so that's uh, 12. Well, and you feel yourself yourself gash into him pretty, pretty soundly. Oops. One, two, six. So there's for the silver. It's just one. All right. All right. He'll make the second attack with his claw. Yes, no. that's what I was fucking waiting for. All right, he uh, like gets scrapped across the stomach and then he bends forward. Oh, his head exposed. All right, uh, does the silver uh, roll an additional d6 as well? It does. Okay, so he's going to use... Strike of the Giants. As the, the clog... <laughs> grows even larger like to ludicrous size yeah 
you stretch outward instead of inward now. Your your claw becoming super large as you rake across him. Doofa doofa. That's uh what we have? 28 24. 24 plus 8 is Yeah, 32. As you... Back to <laughs> hell, dead man! Oh! oh, oh, oh. And you, you see, like, spe uh, spectral blood leaking from him. As he's like, oh, that's not very jolly. <coughs> you sure you don't want to be a good boy? Never! No. Yeah, we do what we want. Right? We do what we want, right? Always. Yeah, because we're strong. The first And we law. don't... <laughs> and we do don't listen to our moms. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so I've used all my actions. I do not think I will reap... Oh, he needs to make... I mean, it's not very likely, but he does need to make a... Uh, strength saving throw. Seven. <laughs> he, he, boom, is knocked prone. As he, oh, oh, oh. oh, he's next. Oh, no, Tarzan's next. So. Tarzan's next. He, Tarzan, he is on his, on, on the ground. Tarzan. Um, oh, wait, sorry. Keep going. Just use a little bit of movement to shimmy this way. And then that will be uh, his turn. I know it's not particularly useful, but with the help action, the monkey gonna—he's gonna, she's gonna keep pointing at his head. Hit there! Hit there! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tarzan runs around the corner with Chi Chi screeching on his back. <laughs> she's just rah, 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 pointing, and he yells, "No present, no mercy!" And he. Uh, he slashes with Excalibur with advantage. That will hit. I'll go ahead and use Savage Attacker to... There we go, it's an eight instead of a six. For whoo, swiping across him. Oh, damn! <laughs> and I'll, I'll use my bonus action to attempt to kick him in the head. <laughs> that will hit. For seven. For seven, as you kick him in the head, you don't feel like it all quite goes through, but it goes through enough that his sort of spectral body can't keep its form, and it knocks his head around like an owl. As he goes, oh, 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 oh I don't feel so good. Don't you want to be a good boy? Oh, and he falls over. Boom. Uh, <laughs> completely done. <laughs> What do you think of that, Tim? That was pretty sweet. And that, we sure that wasn't Santa, right? It was. And he was evil. Oh, then it's all right. And he tries to spit. It, but like, it kind of just dribbles down his uh, mouth. And, it, oh, and he just wipes it. <laughs> yeah, we got him. Um, but as this happens, this combat went by very fast. <laughs> as uh, slowly, all of the creatures here begin to slowly ambulate to a stop. Uh, right. um, they are no longer moving, except for the rug. The rug is still writhing around. Um, you guys see, as the ghost of Christmas past slowly dissipates, clink, 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 left on the ground is a strange key. It looks like it's made from a large bug's mandible. Um, sort of fashion, uh, the end of it. Um, yeah, uh, Grendel will 
reach down and, and pick it up and inspect the key. Hmm. Uh, inspecting the key, it, it is, as I said, right? It's this, um, like, large uh, thing, about 12 inches across a foot. Uh, it looks like it's from a large mandible of maybe like a beetle or some sort of uh, like large ant or something. Um, the end of which, which is where would it would have been attached to a creature, it has been fashioned into some sort of key. Hmm. Very interesting. Grendel will take it in his arm, but he can't really carry this around. Get to give it to Tiny too. <laughs> he's he's yeah, your oh, bag of holding now. <laughs> yeah. I've got it, sir. My appreciations. He uh he takes the key from you, um. But as he does, uh, something is going to to happen. All of you are going to experience this as. A very cold wind blows through the building. And the sound of the storm outside seems to stop. stop. Leaving nothing but a eerie echo outside, a, a sort of eerie stillness, both in the house and outside. You can't quite make it out, but it almost seems like it's gotten darker out there. Um, Wolf and Appleseed, as you're standing there in the hallway, these taxidermies begin to rot a little, um, almost as if accelerated. Um, some of the tatters of, of things are starting to decay away. And there is an eerie stillness in the house. Whoa, that's pretty gross. Um, is that... Wait, what's going on with that rug over there? Is it inanimate again? Uh, no, it is still animate. It is trying to escape from this uh, rod that's holding it down. Okay. Um, and I guess Bay is sitting on top of it. Yeah, I was going to say the ox is parked on it, too. I'm um, not I'm even go, paying attention. Or, I'm going to go around the tax terms and see what's see how far I can get. Can I take a look at this rug? I'm going to head back this way to that uh, room we found. I will open it up. Oh, wait. You thought you were oh, no. Yeah, I was going. I was going to go back up to the study we found. Ah. And that'll be it. Mm -hmm. um, should we roll initiative? Should we do it that way? Because that seems a bit have been working good. Yeah. 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 All right. Everybody roll initiative again. Um, Nate, did you say something? I just said that uh, Babe's not paying attention and just accidentally <laughs> standing on this rug. Yeah. Babe just sees a, a nice rug. It's like writhing underneath of him. Yeah. And also the rod. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, Dorian. Uh, what do you do? having been attacked by the, the ghost of Christmas present previously. Uh, Dorian does not comprehend that shit's fine, and he's going to run over and shoot the fucking spider over here. It just sort of shatters into pieces. And he's going to keep running. Guys, there's a ghost. There's a, there's a horrible ghost over there. He's telling me he's from the present. I couldn't I tell this. Was... Oh, did we? Yes. Oh. Those were all alive over there before, uh, before he died. Well, I, I wonder if Ebenezer's okay. I. There were three ghosts, right? There were three chains. Yeah, there should be a mm -hmm. third one. Do you, you see um... any change around here? As you're looking around, Dorian, you see it, that one of those third chains that were, was sort of up this way, you realize it wasn't up. It was down. Like in the basement? There must be a basement, because you didn't see anywhere 
uh -huh. you know, otherwise it would have been. Well, I think there might be a might be a basement somewhere. Maybe we should sally on downstairs, and Dorian's gonna sally on downstairs. Uh, Dorian. Something is yeah. going to happen with you. Uh-oh. I need you to make a check. 2d6? Yes, a 2d6. <laughs> okay. How did I know? <laughs> a five. Five. As you're um, walking down the stairs, uh, you suddenly stop in place. Ooh. And you like, can't move your feet. Uh, it almost feels like, like they are here? stuck to the to the ground. Oh, foot gum on the stairs. You, uh, I, I need a strike safe. Okay. Well, twelve. That will do. As you peel your foot off of the. Uh, the stairs, you kind of stumble a bit, uh, almost dropping your painting. Uh, but you grab it, you know, quickly. And you notice something strange, something you hadn't noticed before in the painting. There's like a little spider in it. Um, it's like way off in the corner. It was painted real small, so it's hard to tell. Um, but you hadn't noticed it before. Oh. Uh, Dorian's just going to shoot it. All right. <laughs> That's your painting with you in it. Yeah, but like I have the spiders in the background of it, right? It's in the background of it. Yeah, I could shoot the spider in the background. Or I could try to stomp it. <laughs> now you... I could paint over it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you can't paint over it, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I but, uh... I'll just... Like, out of game, you actually you've got you've gained something. Oh, okay. Because you did shoot that spider. Oh. You have gained spider climb. Oh hell yeah! Nice. You did technically defeat a thing. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this God, is a rare thing that we haven't ever had to do because Dorian has not <laughs> confronted basically anything. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so start building up your character sheet, my man. Already added. Uh, as you make your way downstairs, Grendel. Grendel has moved towards this painting. Oh, yeah, I recognize that. Yes. It's you. That's... Yeah, that's my house. And the old man from downstairs. Yeah, he's brought like, uh, I mean, he'd never do that. Bring like a big turkey or whatever that is. I've never, I've very rarely seen meat. Yes. Uh... You and this my look, dad. You all look very happy, don't you? Yes, yeah, super happy. And the man would never do that. Now, he's, uh, we, we calls it, um, a lock being a Scrooge because of how lock bad he is. <laughs> Perhaps that will be a thing. That is recorded by time. Yeah. That's my mom. That's my, my sister. And my other sister. And, uh, and my dad. This painting, Tim. This painting is a lie. Well, yeah, he would never do that. He would but I would like to find that. my dad. Oh, you think Santa knew where my dad was? No. Oh, God. 
He painted this to lie to you. I am very old, Master Tim. The one thing I have learned is that happiness doesn't exist. There is only strength, survival, and power. Oh, and that's, a real, gonna, that's a real bummer. Grendel's going to reach out slowly and with his talons just tear down the painting. It is, Master Tim. It is. And he'll move out of the room. Does this look like it's a... Uh, um, Actually, a door here. Um, I can't tell. It, it kind of looks like it is, but it looks like it's been piled full of stuff in front of it. Okay. Um, Grindel will move out of the door. That's all of his movement, and that is his turn. Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. He goes, uh, where'd that little guy run off to? And he goes to follow Dorian. Uh, which I guess Dorian's over here. So I guess he's making his way back down the stairs. Yeah. You're going to delete the bay that's on this side. Yeah. Yeah. So he's walking down. And, uh, you know, he hears a gunshot, I assume, because, uh, you know, <laughs> Dorian just Dorian. fired his gun. He goes, what the hell? What'd you do that for? Every never be too careful of the spiders a spider just just step on it anyways did i hear you say you're looking for a basement yeah no uh, well the the third chain has to be coming from somewhere oh yeah and i may have not explained this but there's ghostly chains coming out of Ebenezer scrooge leading to ghosts that's eerie yeah. Well, I guess we have to find some stairs, huh? Um, as you've come downstairs, both you, Bunyan, and uh, Dorian hear Ebenezer in kind of a sleepy, you know, co almost comatose state, yelling out from the room, Oh, Lord, give all my money away! Oh, no, not to have a fate like this! No! I'll be a oh, good no. man! Oh! Oh! We just, all my money, we just, all of my investments. We need to stop this ghost. <laughs> oh, God. You think we can get some of his money? He's my fucking banker. What the fuck do you think he does? He gives me money. I don't oh. know where it comes from. I don't know how I get it. it it's money. <laughs> no. Righto. I go to the uh, bank and I say I need money and they just hand it to me. Paul Bunyan attempts to copy your accent. Just try it on for himself just for a moment and then realizes <laughs> that's not me. Um, and <laughs> Paul Bunyan, he, he just sort of like leaves you talking about money and, and goes over to this door and uh, tries to turn the handle. Uh, you do. It opens. Oh, he, oh. he goes, uh, he whistles for babe and then uh, takes a peek in here. He peeks in, revealing a kitchen, uh, at which point he sees a horrifying sight, though. Oh. As shambling in the kitchen are rotting corpses, dead servants from years past, uh, shambling through, carrying trays, wearing butler garb, and they all turn to you. This oh, but... is the fate of wealth. Paul Bunyan shuts the door and then looks <laughs> back at uh, Dorian Gray. He says, did you hear that? Yeah, well, were there, were there stairs there? Deep... I, 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 didn't, I didn't see any stairs. There are three zombies in here, though, uh, and they said that this is the fate of wealth. I mean, and you can disagree all you want. I assume you will. In your house? That sounds like a brilliant idea. You know, I didn't have 
pay them. Uh, I'd like love an undead me. servant. Yes. It, it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, I mean, if you want to come meet them, they're right in here. Well, no, we need to... We need to take care of Ebenezer first. Besides, they're his servants. Rude to ask other people's servants things. I'll say at this point, Paul Bunyan, you do hear on the other side of the door, boo, boo, because they are like knocking. <laughs> yeah, Paul, all right. Paul Bunyan is going to um, take this. Uh, ooh. I think he's going to try to take this statue with the check mark over it and uh, put it in front of the door. All right. Give me a, give me an athletics check. All right. All right. An 18, and we'll do it as you grab this big statue of, uh, like, a Buddha and slide it over in front of the door, blocking it <laughs> off. <laughs> they're, boo, 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 boo. they're trying to break through, but you you feel pretty confident they're, they're not going to be able to. Yeah. I, I'm going to call back just quickly. I'm just going to call back to, um, to uh, my friend on the stairs there and just say, uh, mm -mm, don't move this statue, okay? Just... Just don't do that. And then he'll end his turn. <laughs> Tarzan. All right, Tarzan. <clears throat> since uh, since Grendel already ripped up the painting, that's probably for the best, because Tarzan was thinking about torching it, and that may not have worked out very well. Uh, so Tarzan's gonna, gonna leave the room and come try to open this door. Right. The door uh, will open. Uh, it is not impeded in any way. Oop. I've done that. Doop. 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 Uh, revealing uh, what looks like another a bedroom. Hey, Tarzan's going to move his final five feet in and look around and see if he sees anything of interest. Um, you see a chest, you see what looks like a journal um, with what looks like a, a very fancy letter folded up into it. Uh, and that is it. You can, I'll say this room is nicer than any of the ones you've seen so far. Uh, can I send Chi Chi to fetch that uh, journal and letter? Yes, Chi Chi will grab it <laughs> and bring it back. Tarzan will do his best attempt at reading English what little he can. All right, I'm going to need an intelligence save. I'm perfectly neutral at that. 17. Uh, the journal, uh, you recognize, because you've heard this name a couple of times and sounding it out, it says Ebenezer Scrooge. Um, it has a little lock on it, but it is unlocked. Uh there seems to be some scribbles in it about strange noises uh, heard the night previously and asking uh, Bob Cratchit to come over. Uh, the other thing, the note, it just says will on it. You're not sure what will happen. Who um, will so that is. part is confusing to you. Or who will is. Um, or what will they do. Uh, but it is a letter with the word will on it. All right. Well, I conclude my turn. All right. Fox, you are standing with Dr. Watson as this rug thrashes about underneath this immovable rod. And I get by it without stepping on it? Uh... You, you, yeah, jumping over the railing, you can. All right. I'm going to keep heading up towards the study. All right. There's going to be lots of interesting stuff in there. As you go into the study, again, it is a, a fairly um, large study um, with a globe, pins pointed everywhere. Um, there's letters, maps all strewn about. Um, what looks like different uh, catching or like trap implements, like nets even. Uh, and a ton of books. 
So the globe has pins within it, and the uh, are the notes associated with that? Um, without reading the notes, it's hard to to make that call. Um, but the okay. pins are color coded, um, so okay. you can maybe assume there is some sort of rhyme and reason to this. Okay, I'm gonna and I don't know if it's investigate or perception or what, but I'm gonna look at that and see what's going on with it. Yeah, do an investigation. Oh. Investigation, okay. Thirteen. 13 investigating it um the pins are kind of put all over with no real rhyme or reason um that you can sort of posit there's a lot more of them in london uh just because you assume that's where he hangs out the most right okay um, but there are pins all over the globe um, but most notably there is a pin um in canada oh cool um, what are the notes associated with these? Like, are they at the globe themselves or what's going uh, on? They are not. They are actually over here on the table with all the maps. Okay. Well, next turn I'll go check that out. Uh, Watson. Um, I would like to investigate this rug. All right. Make an investigation. A 13. A 13. Um, it is a very fanciful, ornate rug. Um, it is moving, which is a bit unusual. Uh, but one thing that you do notice about it, uh, that you've, you know, you've talked to, to Holmes about this. Um, so you've you've seen a lot in your, your travels. This is of Arabic design. Or not Arabic, Arabian design. Mm-hmm. Off the table. Has Aladdin come out yet? It is in the public domain. Uh, a certain version of it. Okay. That being said, Dr. Watson is a studied man. I would assume that he has read the book. No, so... now hold on. The book Aladdin doesn't exist. The Thousand oh? One Arabian Nights. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. Okay. So... <laughs> Hang on, so 1001 Arabian Nights. I would assume that Dr. Watson... A book of fiction. A book of fiction. That Dr. Watson has maybe glanced at. Because Dr. Okay. Watson does canonically like fiction. Not only that, we have been in a victorious house, and I've been surrounded by victorious talking animals. <laughs> so, I'm going to entertain this fanciful idea. Yeah. I'm going to sit down atop this rug. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make certain I'm in the center of it and I'm going to click off the immovable rod. All right. Does 20 hit you? Uh, let me, as a reaction, <laughs> use my Watson ape instinct. <laughs> okay. Does the 20 still hit you? <laughs> yes, it does. As the rug whoo, really quickly rolls up into a ball uh, with Dr. Watson. <laughs> uh, Dr. Watson, you are uh, restrained, blinded, and at risk of suffocating. Okay. Um, so we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> Johnny Appleseed, who's across and sees this happen. Hmm. Watson, you need any help? <laughs> I don't think she. I, I think they got it. I think they don't need to do anything. Uh, but he will take out his slingshot. All right. <laughs> Time to hit. Uh, a 10 will hit because the rug is not moving. Um, as it whack hits the rug, uh, Watson, you can make a strength save as the rug gets hit. Boom. Sorry. Give me one second. My, uh, what happened? Make a strength save as a, 
a hard seed sling gets uh or a seed gets launched Boom. as you do you boom, the rug unfolds uh, as you resist having it it gotten hit and you roll out of it all right My work here is done. Yep. As Dorian downstairs. Yes. Uh, Dorian's going to head towards uh, this door over here. All right. Give it a uh, nice you little. Can unlock it. Revealing a servant hallway. Um, from what you understand, this is where, like, kind of the servants hang out and eat lunch uh, through the next door. Um, oh. This is kind of just a staging room. Oh. And Dorian's going to go and open the next door as well. <laughs> All right. Dorian, you... Disgusting. Ugh, servants. Call it. As you walk <laughs> through the next door, you are going to see uh, definitely the servants' quarters. Um, but you're also going to see two uh, rotting servants as they turn to you and go, You, a man of pomp and circumstance, this is what you do to your people. Yes, give you a place to live through the kindness of my heart. Kindness, there is no kindness in your heart. Your well, future is only death. I think that's quite rude. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go have a word. Uh, <laughs> you, you'll no longer be employed here. And Dorian's going to close the door on them. Uh, <laughs> like slowly <laughs> shambling towards Dorian. <laughs> And Dorian's gonna head right out of here and Dor Dorian, as you're leaving, you hear them you hear them muffled on the other side of the door. They go, Give up your wealth so you may be free of your future. No. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Dorian's calls that out as Paul Bunyan <laughs> sees it. You okay in there? Dorian's gonna brush off his coat. Well, there's more servants here, and I don't think they're friendly. I think we might have to get the people upstairs involved. Mm. And Dorian's just going to yell upstairs. As uh, we cut to Grendel, hearing Dorian yell downstairs um, as you come walking out. <laughs> what do you think this key's for? Uh, I haven't an idea. But or I'll, I'll think of one. We'll soon find out, I'm certain. Uh, I guess Grendel is going to walk five. Seven, He's going to walk over here and kick over this spider. It falls over and just... <laughs> breaks apart and uh I, I think that's gonna be his turn all right we cut to paul paul's just gonna continue looking for stairs he's gonna flit along in here and poke his head and he's like oh right that's where we killed the other ghost uh hmm. and he's gonna try to turn the handle on this door uh you open it all right pokes his head in uh, cautiously uh, trying not to draw the attention of any potential zombie servants uh, poking your head in here you see looks like all right here okay you see what looks like a, a little lounge room um it is lit uh the fireplace is, is roaring there's some pictures above the uh, fireplace um, there is what looks like a swordfish and a very colorful rooster uh, stuffed um, with a little tray with some teas on it. Uh, but this room 
uh, appears to be mostly empty. Um, however, there is two doors um, on your left. Oh, okay. Uh, Paul's gonna come over here, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna come over here and, and inspect the swordfish. Inspecting the swordfish, it is a rather large marlin. He's gonna take it and sit by the fire. All right, you take this mounted marlin off the wall and go sit by the fire. It is Babe. warm and cozy. Babe, I found a fire and a swordfish. And oh. Babe comes comes over pretty quickly and uh, curls up on the couch. Mm -hmm. That's turn. <laughs> Got over Tarzan. Uh, let's see. Tarzan will walk. Ten feet to the chest. And, uh... He'll attempt to open it. Alright. Um, you reach down and it is unlocked. It it does have a lock on it, but it does not appear to be locked at this moment. Um, opening it up, you find another bottle of uh, Nerlinogino. Um, you find two silver dust of purity oh nice and at the bottom a small little case uh, at which point you open it up it's rather ornate and inside is a strange flower um, you have seen this before uh, Doc, you maybe have seen Clayton use this uh, stuff it is one thing of opium Oh, shit. Tarzan's about to be strung out. <laughs> yeah. It's a big fucking item. I'll so. say usage, advantage, show against, advantage against fear and pain effects. You gain 1d4 hit points at the start of each turn. That's pretty cool. Drawback. <laughs> this is the arc don't, don't Tarzan becomes it. the proper gentleman. <laughs> Yes, doing some opium dance, and then he gets a monocle and a top hat, and <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now you say, should I just write poppy flower in my inventory? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, this is proper, proper manufactured opium. Oh, okay. it is ready to use. One opium. <laughs> <laughs> one opium. This is how we deal with drugs in our uh, adventure. I just, one opium, please. Drugs are public domain, I'm told. Yes. All right. Um, so that was 10 feet of movement. I'll just shove it in my loincloth and uh, <laughs> I'll walk another 15 feet to open this, presumably a closet door. Um, you would be correct. It is just a closet. Seeing some things that are making me think about the memories from earlier, so I'm just going to immediately <laughs> close that door and leave. Close it. And leave. See, what was it? That As was a fox. That was 25 movement, so I've got 15. I'll just move there and then turn. Um, as we get to Fox, I was in my be right back. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll hop back to him, Doctor Watson. You're have been spit out by this rug. The rug is sort of writhing. Um, you're not sure why, even though it doesn't have a face or really an easy way to emote. It seems very annoyed. Hmm. Well, I did stick it down with a with a with a rod, and. Then a cow stepped on it. If I were a rug, what would I like? Hmm. I'm going to approach the rug once more. All right. 
All right. It seems smart enough to be able to want to buck me off, so I'm going to treat this like it's a horse. So you're going to attempt to animal handle again? I am going to... I'm going to I'm going to squat down and then I'm going to uh, try to wipe off some of the dust that's on that's on the rug. All right. Well, I'm going to need you to roll 2d6. Okay. <laughs> 7. 7. You you go and you reach down and you very gently kind of dust it off. As you do, it flops over you. Um, and I'm going to need a strength save. <laughs> okay. Trouble making friends? 20. 20. As you kind of just push it back off of you. As I'm still going to, like, while I'm doing so, I'm still, like, dusting it off. Yeah. It's going to continue to keep trying to smother you. Okay. Uh, sort of this whole time. However, it has sort of a back and forth. So you haven't gotten too far with it, but it hasn't gotten super lucky at getting you yet. Okay. All right. As we get to Johnny. <laughs> Johnny is just going to keep watching this <laughs> monkey trying to tame a carpet. Um, <laughs> the whole time just eating an apple just going what is yeah. happening no it's not what's happening it's just why it's happening that's the question and john's just gonna keep watching it as you you sort of just watch it because we don't need the monkey doctor going down on us. Yeah. As we get to Dorian. All right. Um, Dorian, as you're standing there, you, you hear the door uh, like basically being open. Hmm. Well, uh, Dorian's going to make sure uh, this Dill, actually, no, Dorian's going to proceed upstairs and kind of <laughs> get a view from behind the, the giant dragon statue of Reddy's yeah. pistol. <laughs> um, guys? Hey. Um, there's zombies. Everyone upstairs will hear this. I told you. You might want to come help. Um, it the sound of Ebenezer gets louder too as he starts yelling out, "Oh, I'll give out all my wealth. I'll make sure all my rich friends oh, lose no. their wealth, and no. they are given to the needy." <laughs> 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 as Dorian hears this, he's gonna rush back downstairs <laughs> and ready a pistol shot from the from the hall. <laughs> It's the only way. <laughs> it's, it's bravery and courage. Yeah. Struck him out of nowhere. <laughs> it's Grendel. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Grendel, having kicked apart the spider statue, looks down at its disparate parts. Ah, Tim. May I see the key, please? Yes, sir. Here you go. And he hands you the key. And the key is like an animal's leg with one oh, a, end of it, the it's, key. It's a mandible. So it's like it's, it's a a mouth claws, basically. And he looks at the... Is this still here or was this the uh, this guy now? Uh, no, that, that fox is still there. However, its face is more sunken in as if uh, aging uh, rapidly. Ah. You know, Master Tim, 
I think somewhere's about here is an animal that this mandible belongs to. Uh, DM. If where he's been through so far, has there been anything like that? Uh, nowhere so far. Uh, but Tim will point out to uh, to him, like, oh, but, uh, I mean, these things had to come from somewhere, right? Yes, they must have come from somewhere. And, uh, first thing he'll do is he'll come down here and open this door. Uh, come down there, open in that door. Um, it will reveal a bedroom. Mm. Anything kind of cursorily interesting? Uh, no, not really. He's not really looking for bedrooms. Um, you do see where you're standing, though. This room is filled with taxidermies. Ha! I believe this is our quarry, Master Tim. Yeah. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but is it okay for us to ignore Mr. Dorian's yelling? Because <laughs> he's like, guys, help! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Miss, Mr. Gray has a, quite an interesting talent that very oh, few in this plane of existence acquire. What's that? Well, Master Tim, let's just say that should even the denizens of this house tear him limb from limb and dance upon his guts across the floor. He'll be doing just fine in an hour. Ah, I don't get it, but I trust you. You shouldn't. Master Tim, but I thank you. He just, he gives a nod. As we get to Paul, um, having a relaxing uh, moment. Paul's feeling pretty cozy. Uh, he looks over at this fire, and uh, he stands up and warms his hands a bit, and then looks at the mantle, to see if there's anything nice on the mantle for him to pocket as well. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, like, family pictures. Any any people Paul Bunyan would recognize in there? Uh, no. There's there's nobody Paul would recognize. Uh, make a wisdom save for me, real quick. All right. By the way, I think Grendel knows about Dorian because he did tear him from limb to limb and dance and, around in his guts and eat him <laughs> and eat him. <laughs> That's what... Paul. One of the pictures on here is very unsettling. Oh, how it's unsettling. of a it's of a dissected bull. Um, dissected. It looks like carrion birds are eating at its intestines. Oh, uh, babe, uh, it's nothing. And he uh, throws it into the fire. You, you turn and babe isn't in the room with you. And when you look back at the painting or at the, the picture, it is of Bay having been cut open and dissected. Oh. Carrion birds picking at Bay's dead corpse. Um, but more unsettling than that, the perpetrator of this dissecting is you. You're standing over Bay, axe in hand, blood coating it with a grin, a just unsettling grin. Your your mouth is wider than it should be, coated in blood. And it's staring right at the, basically the taker of this picture. Uh, it's very unnerving. Ooh. Uh, I, I don't like that. Uh, babe, babe, where'd you go? I call out. The and room then I also is unsettling us... quiet. Oh. Hmm. 
Uh, Paul Bunyan tosses it in the fire. And then he... You toss it in the fire. And as you do, it burns. It burns. It burns. As you take uh, eight points of psychic damage. Um, as you feel yourself just hurting your head, pulsing. Was that a future you might come to? Um, but next thing you know, as you sort of have stepped away, you hear a mmm, as Bay is looking at you, sitting where she was or he where he was previously. Uh, don't worry, babe, I'm fine. Uh, I I was going to call out to our friends and have you do hear <laughs> you do hear Dorian yelling, Dorian, stop fooling with those zombies and come take a load off. This no, no. We have to do it now. I found the I found the stairs downstairs. As they have opened the door. Dorian Gray. <laughs> Babe, what do you say we go uh knock some knock some heads? Mm. And uh <laughs> Babe and um Paul are just gonna sprint out here. And just try to you know meet their way over here to, to Dorian. All right. You're like bolting down the hall. Uh, Tarzan. You hear Dorian screaming. Yeah. Tarzan about to continue on his way down to go help Dorian when Chi Chi says, you know, there was another door in there, right? Mm. So Tarzan goes in to check out this other door. As you open the door, you are shocked at what you see. Uh oh. It's a bathroom. Oh my gosh. As I don't know that what happens, this is. Chi 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 bats you on the back and goes, Thanks, bud. And hops off and goes and sits and takes a poop. And Tarzan has just learned what a toilet <laughs> is and what it's for. He's been pooping in the sink. He gains, yeah, he gains one point of being civilized. <laughs> yes. You get, uh, hold on, mark on your sheet, one civilized point. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep track of him from now on. All right. Uh, that was 15 movements, so he's got uh, fucking 25. So Chi-Chi goes, go on without me. Okay. And I'll, I'll, you make it to Appleseed. Be like, yeah, um, Dorian sound like he's having fun. <laughs> yeah. Dorian, yeah. Maybe we go check out. That's Tarzan's turn. Takes a bite. Nah. <laughs> Fox, as you're investigating, you hear Dorian. You hear also not very many people Coming to Dorian's aid. <laughs> uh, what do you do? Oh, far, he might oh, still he's not, Yeah, he's not back yet. All right. Fox is investigating. And find some clues. As Dr. Watson <laughs> is still attempting to uh, parlay with this rug. Have you come oh. up with any new strategies? I'm wondering what will happen if I let it outside. But currently, I'm hearing shouting downstairs about zombies. Mm -hmm. So, like, the good doctor he is, he's just going to say, well, you'll have some well, certainly you have some character, and this is a mystery that I'm not quite bound to figure out, apparently. You know, about the rug stands a... the rug stands up on one end, its little tassels cross, and it angrily walks back into this room. And then goes flat. <laughs> well, 
if you want to leave the house, we'll leave the front door open as Dr. Watson is going to make his way downstairs. <laughs> or is it this way? Yeah, as you, okay. you've made your way down. And that's how Jack the Ripper shows up. So, yeah. what is this that I hear of zombies, you said, Mr. Dorian? There's zombie servants down here. You need to, oh. uh... He makes little, like, little finger guns. Oh god, who's into the opium? Um, <laughs> do I see this one, Tarzan or do I found see the this opium. one? Uh, you see these ones. There's actually a big Buddha statue blocking these ones from getting out. Okay, so I don't know that those currently exist. So yeah. we're gonna... You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna take a shot at that one. Right there. Alright, we... take that shot. 12. <laughs> 12, will, 12 will hit. Okay. They are not and very strong. As I deal nine piercing damage. As you, boom, blast a big hole in it. As you go, Ugh. Enforcing your authority on the poor and weak. That will be the undoing of society. <laughs> <laughs> That'll end my turn. <laughs> Johnny see. Oh, Fox is back if we want him to take turns. Oh, quick thing. Fox. Yes. Uh, having investigated this room, um, checking the notes. The notes are from different um, members of the Order of the Dragon hunting different monsters. Um, and through that, you are able to correlate that that's what the pins are. Uh, oh, basically cool. different monster hunters finding different monsters uh, one of them referring to a windigo in Canada nice uh, were there any other notes about it or just that the person was tracking it the person was tracking it um, however there seems to be no update to the note merely that they were heading there um, and obviously have never returned oh he's dinner by now mm -hmm. um this is dated before the pipe was stolen. Okay. Um, was there anything else of note in the room, or did I just investigate that? Oh, well, that was just what I was giving you because you, you missed a turn, technically. Okay, okay. Um, I'm, I'm guessing I heard Watson's gunshot, though, right? Yeah, Watson's shot. Dorian's been yelling, zombie! Okay. Um, I'm going to... I guess dash actually to get down there. All right, it sounds you dash like your way to the yeah. bottom of the stairs. Okay, and that will be my turn. All right, as so we cut to Dorian, Dorian, they have, they're shambling closer. Hey, you skipped Appleseed. Oh, oh uh, Appleseed. Dorian... Sorry, you're good. Uh, Appleseed. Yeah, Appleseed's going to uh, move down here and open up this door. All right. Uh, the door is cracked, so it, it didn't take really that much effort to open it, um, revealing a room full of weapons and traps. There are bear traps, uh, metal-lined boots, uh, machetes, kukris, um, large muskets, uh, different rifles, um, even things like uh, hooks and chains and anchors. Neat. As Johnny Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Out of all the fucking people that walk into this room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's going to make over to uh, some of the kukris. Walking on over to the kukris. Yeah. Um, you do uh, indeed find some kukris. Uh, uh. They are... They have the statistics of a dagger um, with the difference that they are a D6 instead of a D4. How many of them? But they, there are three of them. Yeah, I'll take three. Um, they have the finesse, light, range, and throne properties. Johnny, um, and they are slashing in a, uh, 
Yeah, they're also slashing instead of piercing. Neat. So it's a d6 and slashing. And there's... Is there... No, is there like a barrel of gunpowder in here? Uh, there is not. Uh, uh. There are little things of gunpowder, um, obviously for bullet making, but they're like little tins. Oh, okay. Think of them like an Altoids size. Oh, okay. Well, Johnny will just... Uh, oh. If they're, uh, you know, he'll investigate the room real quick if he's able to. Yeah. Uh, investigation. An investigation, a ten. I mean, it, it's pretty much what what I said, right? Everything's yeah. kind of laying out in the open. Nothing is particularly hidden. Oh, neat. And he closes the door as he walks out. <laughs> you close the door. That's it. As we get to Paul, I will start playing a little bit more battle music. I think you just skipped two people. <laughs> in a row. Oh, damn it. It's Dorian. Yes. Uh, Dorian is going to go take a shot at the fuck. Hmm? Uh, that was weird. I somehow opened uh, one of the animal's character sheets. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dorian's just going to take a shot at the zombie. Nothing too fancy. He's going to miss horribly. You boom. I meant you just fire it in the air. Oh, you know, I hold on. I also get my held action shot. Oh, yes. Yeah. So let me. Uh... Or that was your held action, right? Yeah, this would be your, was, your action. That was me panicking. <laughs> oh, that'll hit. That one will hit. A 16. Holy shit. Yeah. As you boom, just blow the head off this thing and it crumples to the ground. Oh, sacrifices to the upper class. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that'll be Dorian's turn. All right, Paul Bunyan. Uh, sorry, was Grindel supposed to go? Yeah, Grindel's sure. supposed to go. Oh, god damn it! I keep skip. Just, I keep just, on instinct just, clicking just, the turn order. You just don't click it once, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Grindel. It's very dramatic music for what's happening in Grendel's part of the woods. Oi, sir, look! And uh, Tiny Tim gestures. There's a big, uh, like, ant. And it's missing one of his things. Yes, indeed. And he, <laughs> Grendel walks through, he hears shots going off downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> People yelling and screaming. Oh, great heavens! Very good, Master Tim. I believe we have found the lock to our key. Care to do the honors? Uh, now you do it, sir. And hands you the thing. Fine. I will. But first, a bit of caution never hurt and Grendel will attempt to examine uh, the mechanism all right particularly for any sort of tra traps an investigation okay uh, it does that not appear 21. to be does not appear to be trapped um in fact the the ability to even notice that this thing is a lock uh would have been damn near impossible if you hadn't had a a large key to sort of yeah. show you that that's the case all right that is one mystery scratched and Grendel will put the, the the mandible key in the ant and see if it needs to be turned or if it just... When you stick it in, the ant suddenly snaps shut and moves up, revealing a hidden room. Ah. Uh, inside of which is uh, 
what looks like a familiar crate. Uh, this crate was one that Captain Ahab had unloaded and that Bob Cratchit and uh, Ebenezer earlier in the day when you guys first met them uh, had had brought out. Um, sitting atop it is a sort of like velvety pillow with what looks like a horn, uh, one that looks eerily similar to a unicorn you saw earlier in the day. Um, there appears to be a, a strange box. It is open. Um, you see what looks like an unusual um, statue. It's of this demonic looking creature with uh, what looks like um, dragonfly wings and what looks like a brass lamp. Well, Master Tim, seems we've struck some pay dirt. Yes, yeah, seems so. First thing he'll do is pick up the unicorn's horn. Picking it up, it gives off a, a warm feeling as you hold it. Mm, very rare, very magical. Mm. Could come in handy. And Grendel will eat it. All right. I need a con save. Because it is a very sharp thing that you are eating. Ooh, only a 13. A 13. You are going to take uh, five points of piercing damage as you swallow this <laughs> unicorn dagger. Grendel burps. <laughs> Indigestion. Um, is... Go for it, DM. It's like one of them magic tricks. Um, it is um, a unicorn horn. It counts as a plus one dagger. Okay. Very cool. Does it have any um, other effects? Uh, it does not. Okay. Um, At least not in this current form. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What else is in here? The chest, the statue. And a brass uh, lamp. Uh, and a brass lamp. Well, I suppose we'll skip to the coup de gras and open the chest. You open the chest, and inside is nothing. The chest is strangely empty. It looks like it probably had something in it, but it is no longer in there. Hmm. Well, isn't that a disappointment, Mr. Tim? It's weird. Because I remember when my dad and I came in here to drop off that crate, that the chest was closed. Locked up real tight. Perhaps the merchandise has been moved. Oh. You mean like somebody done stole it? No, Master Tim. <laughs> Simply moved. Um, ah. And then, is that a uh, is that Grendel's turn, or does I'll he? Have, um... That is. Uh, we'll say that's Grendel's turn for now. Okay, understood. Uh, don't click the button. As we, as we, yeah, don't press the button. As we go to Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan, uh, Rax's shotgun. <laughs> Babe, everything I've ever read has told me that this is the best weapon to fight zombies with. <laughs> and he uh, he steps in here. And mind you, there has been very little zombie literature. Yes, especially at this time. <laughs> yes. Uh, and he, he goes, watch and learn, babe. And he points a shotgun at this zombie's head. And, uh, well, he fires his first shot. Boom. All right. <laughs> it's going to hit it. Boom! Right in the noggin. 
as it boom, takes off like a huge chunk of it, um, blasting like it's basically shoulder and part of its chest off. Oh, oh, don't don't you worry. Oh. One more where that came from, zombie. Boom. That is uh, going to hit also as you boom, <laughs> blast it, overkilling the uh, the zombie. The wall and door behind it blasts open <laughs> into this huge hole. Oh, I think as the the zombie's okay. head falls to the ground and it goes, oh, gun violence. The citizens shouldn't have guns. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these people, don't you? Looking over at uh, Dorian. And he, he walks over the body. <laughs> he walks on in. And uh, is this... Uh, he, he, he looks around. He's like, babe? Come on in here. Oh. 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 Uh, babe stands in the way, as usual. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Babe sits Paul, down in front of this door. Yeah. Uh, you know, Paul gives the room a once over. Uh, it appears to be some servants' quarters. Servants' um, quarters. It's probably where they brought in like supplies. They probably ate lunch here. Um, mm. You know, just little things. Mm. Is this a table here or is this a chest? It is a storage chest. Oh, Paul's going to get in, try to get on in there. Um, opening it reveals uh, that it is fairly empty. Um, there's some little empty glass vials, um, some glass bottles. Uh, with what you can assume to be just water in it. Okay. Um, some miscellaneous utensils. Um, and that appears to be it. Uh, you get the impression standing in here that while there are undead servants about, uh, Ebenezer probably didn't have really any servants, or at least hadn't had any for a long time. That's so weird. Um, because the room is pretty, pretty spartan. Well, oh, look what you found, babe. Uh, you found the door. How about you lead the way? And, uh, uh you know, babe opens the, the, looks over and I assume it's got it. Oh, First off, is it a turn doorknob or one of those lever doorknobs? It's a turn doorknob. So oh. Bay looks at the doorknob and looks at you. And then looks at the doorknob and looks at you. Well, uh, Paul Bunyan ends his turn just arguing with Babe. Oh. Go on. This is something you have to learn. Oh. <laughs> and ends turn. We get to Tarzan, having heard these fucking thunderous blasts underneath you. Yeah, Tarzan uh, just runs and jumps over the railing down the stairs. Uh, oh, shoot. Easily. How do I move this? There we go. It lands like, I guess, right there. That seems right. Yeah, I'm going to move. Yeah, it seems right. Actually, crap, how much movement was that? That was like... 15. 15? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything okay? And he looks around and he sees this, like, headless body in the doorway. <laughs> And he hears, oh, I'll and he sign hears, over the deed. And hears, I'll sign over the deed to my manor. <laughs> oh, and all of my related estates like Grey Manor, they will all be yours. Tarzan hears that and it doesn't sound too bad, but he does hear Babe <laughs> making sounds in the other room and he's concerned. Yeah. So... Wow, 
I've got like 25. I guess I'll dash. Everything okay in here? Seems so. Paul Bunyan's tea posing. Is there any... Uh... Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> Tarzan. Me and... Me and Babe were just having a discussion. Sorry, I wasn't listening to you. Uh, uh, what, what did you say? You are just like Doolittle. No, listen, Tarzan. Well. well. I mean, it, Babe seems okay. Well. Is there any food on the table? Like, I think you said it was Spartan, so I'm assuming not, but I just see stuff on the map. It's a, it's like rotten food. Oh, rotten again. Tarzan learned new trick. Paul, but I don't know why I was expectantly. I was expecting you to pull out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a gun yet. Uh, <laughs> yet. Yet. <laughs> Just like Clayton. Clayton and Watson. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tarzan, uh, doesn't just say it's shit on pot, then shit on pot. And uh, that'll be the end of Tarzan's turn. All right. As we cut over to, uh, uh, to Fox. Is that door down there open? Uh, down where? Uh, with no, it, three zombies behind it. It's got a statue in front uh, of it. No, it, it has a large okay, Buddha right statue access. actually uh, blocking it. Yes. Okay. Um, then Foxhole, because the fight's over. He'll just kind of go towards where the rest of the party is. And that'll be turn. All right. Cut to Dr. Watson. Rachel, uh, we cannot hear you. I believe you are muted. I hear you. Sorry. Forgot to unmute. <sighs> well, gentlemen, do you see anything down that way? Uh, uh, what, well, Babe's trying to open this door, but she's just being lazy. Oh. Good luck with that, Mr. Bunyan. I don't know how to encourage your ox. To be able to open that door. Perhaps, perhaps you can talk some sense into her. A animal to animal. I, I don't think I have enough sense to be able to give her, him, it. Where do little when need him? Actually, do yes. Why not ask the other doctor to do so? As I'm going to just listen around to see if I'm hearing anything else. Apparently not. Uh, you do not. I will be on my guard. That is my turn. All right, Appleseed. Uh, Appleseed is going to walk over here and open up this door. opening of that door oh boy okay Johnny you see a horrifying sight it's a bathroom hmm Johnny closes the door to close it ending that that horrific uh, sight mm -hmm. Yeah, John's just going to pitter-patter around up the top. Um, just kind of perusing. 
Yeah, he'll take his time to investigate this floor before he heads back down. All right. I just want to say there's all these toilets and that old man shit himself in front of the fireplace. Yeah, who could have guessed? Dorian. All right, uh, Dorian's going to... You hear the calls of Ebenezer. I'll give it all away. All the manners. Uh-oh. Even the newly acquired ones. Uh, Dorian's going to kick down this door and fucking... Oh. <laughs> you kick down the door. <laughs> and it leads to a staircase leading down into a basement. Oh. Uh, yeah, no. that's a small basement. Nope. That's... Not my character. Bay's not, Bay's not down there yet. <laughs> no, that's still the fucking. Hang on. There you go. And Dorian's gonna rush downstairs. Rushing downstairs bravely, uh, laying on a what looks like a a table meant for taxidermying. Uh, this that appears to be what this room was for. Um, although. There is unsettling enough what appears to be cages in the corners um, and a table with a strange looking serum on it. Uh, it is glowing green. Um, the man on the table, you recognize you saw him at the docks with the young boy on top of it or on his back. Uh, it is Bob Cratchit. He's writhing. Oh, 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 dying. Oh, is the um uh, the chain oh yeah yes. you, because it's you the chain yes. is leading over to the center of the room where you see this figure oh an ominous black robed figure with a skeletal white hand um as he is staring uh in your direction however you cannot see its face um it's almost shrouded in shadow It points at you and then points at Cratchit. Oh, you were pick, picking oh. up that serum, hovering over slowly and stabbing Cratchit with it. As Cratchit, his blood starts to pulse and his muscles tense as he grows. Um, not like Paul Bunyan does, but he he grows to quite a, a fearsome sort of muscle mass as he I'll get I'll get my revenge. This is he turns to you. This is your doing, isn't it? The pomp and circumstance of the wealth, the wealthy. <laughs> Ah! As he reaches over, grabbing what looks like an axe near him. Uh, and it appears this final scuffle is afoot. Uh, Bob Cratchit has been sort of put into a, a, a alchemical frenzy. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm out of the economy. Yeah, uh, let me just get. Crap, where is it? I just had it. Oh, there he is. That's why I couldn't find it. It's okay. Hi, he, he's fairly low on it, um, but he looks pissed. Uh, as it's Tarzan. Tarzan, suddenly faster than Paul Bunyan and his blue ox. Am I, uh, am I skipped again? Damn it, did I skip you again? And Dorian, How did that happen? I believe. But Dorian, no, I just got right, Dorian. But Grindel got skipped, yeah, because Grindel's gotta go. Oh, damn. How the fuck I mean, it's not a very again? interesting turn. <laughs> he's... <laughs> he's just going to first examine the lamp and wonder aloud, 
It is a wonder we haven't found your papa yet. Yeah, I figured we find him by now. <laughs> Odd. Odd. As you hold this lamp, you hear a rattling from inside. Like it's hollow? Uh, like something metal is clinking around inside of this uh, brass oil lamp. Does it open from the uh, top? It does. Is there like an aperture? It does. It, it opens up, uh, revealing uh, a very fancy ring uh, with a big uh, ruby. It's a silver ring uh, with swirling clouds and um, shimmering stars on it. Mm, very pretty. Don't you think, Master Tim? They're yeah, super pretty. I'm not much for treasure, but I still have indigestion. Would uh, you put the ring on me? I, yeah, I can put it on you. And he takes the ring and he puts it on you. Mm. Doesn't feel cursed yet. No. Now, what do we have here? And uh, Grendel will examine the statue. Is it large or is it small? Uh, it is probably a foot and a half tall, um, this stone statue uh, of what looks like a demon with uh, dragonfly wings. Does it look familiar to Grendel? Uh, you can do a history check. He's been around a while. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, picking it up and looking at it, Grendel. You know who the fuck this is. This is like the annoying cousin of the <laughs> ancient monster world. It is a, a, a dealer of basically bad deals. Um, an entity you know as Pazuzu. That great swindler. I wonder who would ever worship him anyway. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a banker? Maybe a banker? Uh. <laughs> well, this seems to have been kind of a bust. Let us head downstairs and continue our search. Grend Grendel, or, uh, Grendel, you notice Tim looks a little disappointed. Like he wants to say something, but then he chooses not to. <laughs> okay. Um... I think we should smash it. Oh, Tim. That was my plan. I was legitimately just about to say on the way out the door, he smashes it against the wall. <laughs> he smashes it and Tim goes, yeah! I think you're starting to get to this. I <laughs> think I am too. <laughs> Grendel... As you begin to leave. <laughs> Tarzan. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. So it's 10 movement for me to get to the door at the top of the stairs. How much movement is it to get down the stairs? You're pretty much here. So top of the stairs is this stair. Okay. So it's 10 foot to get to this. Uh, yeah, I guess I come down 20 more feet and Pratchett's going Berserker going ape. ape shit, yeah. Yeah. Do I see this other ghost or am I blind to it? I you do not. Okay. Um, do I recognize Cratchit? 
Uh, you do. He he was that man at the at the docks. Uh, let's see. Rawr! Rawr! I will. I'll tell him, calm down. <laughs> and I'm assuming he's, I, he's I like, yeah. gonna calm down, you pillock. <laughs> if Tarzan knew what pillock meant, he might be very angry. <laughs> and he's gonna strike him with Excalibur. All right. Oh, wrong button. And miss. I'm, I'm, it's going to miss as he deflects it with his axe. You should know because you are one. Tarzan meant to do that. And Tarzan's Put gonna, on some pants. Tarzan's going to try to kick him in the shit. <laughs> and miss. All right. He just kind of kicks your leg and he's wearing boots, so it kind of hurts. Hey. Tars didn't think that unfair, and that'll be the interesting <laughs> All right. Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan hears a commotion uh, down the stairs, and he rushes down with Babe yeah. in tow. Uh, uh, rushing, rushing past Cratchit, he is going to get an AOO on you. Ooh. Uh, that's okay. All right, Cratchit swings his axe. A 16? Yes, that hits. All right, for six damage as he slices across you as you go by. Oh. Get his ass, babe. And uh, babe moves in accordance and rushes forward to smack him or to gore him with babe's horn. All right. As he gets stabbed. Uh, he's like, yeah, that's what you get for messing with me and baby. Well, aren't you a blimey git? Uh, what? 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 Uh, I, I don't even understand your British speak. Uh, can, <laughs> can Paul Bunyan see this ghost? Uh, he cannot. Okay. So Paul Bunyan just sort of walks forward and onto and into this ghost uh, un hmm. unknowingly. And uh, he goes, I'll show you who's a blimey git. And, yeah. uh, you know, swings his axe. I need a wisdom save as you swing oh. your axe. Okay. Do I swing axe first or wisdom save first? Uh, you can swing your axe first because you are going to still swing it. Yes. 20 will hit. Uh, for six. Uh, and then I need that wisdom save. 18. As you swing, you get that feeling again. Like, like something isn't right. And for a split second, your axe buries into bay uh, nope. before you kind of shake out of it and realize you did hit your target. Okay, good. Oof, I, I definitely don't want to hit bay. Uh, but um but yeah you know paul is you know he's in a he's in a goliath's fury right now and he swings his his hand axe as his you know as his secondary second hit it, it, it attempts to uh he is going to miss well as he kind of deftly moves out of the way you're you're a wily little blimey nit but we'll get you next time and that's turn you don't even know what we're saying, American. <laughs> so true. <laughs> As we go to Fox. Uh, I'm going to keep bet, dashing to catch up to the story. <laughs> I'll bet you go home and drink Moxie. <laughs> Uh, 
Established in 1876. What, what? Down. And that'll be my turn. <laughs> Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson is going to make a one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that would be where the dog is. So, Dr. Watson is going to be right here. Alright. And that is my turn. Yeah. Alright, Pratchett. He is, he's he's pissed. He starts taking his axe. He, he yells. Rah! And he's going to recklessly attack. Um, one at Tarzan and one at uh, Paul Bunyan. Oh. Uh... I need to put for some reason I didn't have the advantage dog on. Um, as he swings, one this one's gonna be at Tarzan for oh, 15. Nicely done, just barely a miss. All right, and Paul owed to 20. Oh, as he swings across Paul and slices him for 14. Paul Bunyan flexes, drawing on the American. Endurance. And nice. uh, and it just seemingly only does seven damage. Yeah, it you managed to uh, resist it, literally flexing so the axe doesn't go in deeper. Yes. Um <laughs> only Dorian sees this. That ghost, he floats up around Paul Bunyan um and is by his head and just seems to be floating there. Um, rather ominously. You're not quite sure what it's doing, but you feel like it's doing something. Uh, as we go to Johnny. Yep. <laughs> Upstairs. Hey, Grendel. You found anything interesting? Oh, uh, just a few baubles in a shrine. Uh, what about yeah. you? I found this amulet. I don't know what it does. I also found these knives. They're cool. Found a room with a bunch of bear traps, muskets, rifles, a few little charges of gunpowder, but <laughs> eh, nothing ain't worth this place. I mean, I don't know why during this don't burn this place down to the ground, you know? I think that is against his purposes here. Yeah, what is even his purpose? Actually, where is the little rapscallion? I swear to God. Oh, I'm sorry. We, I swear to the great apple tree in the sky. Do we hear any commotion at all? You hear tons of commotion downstairs. Is this, this like going to be like a whole hobble blue boat like yesterday when they were talking about how they were fighting ghosts and ghosts don't exist? I think we are missing the party. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't, don't want to go down and deal with it, you know? Well, I suppose you don't have to if you don't want to. See, that's why I'm still up here, Grendel. Ah, well, enjoy your sloth, Apple Man. I think I will. Eats an apple, that's it for Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to Grendel. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Grendel's going to dash to, again, <laughs> like Zinn said, catch up with the story. All right. Hopping down the stairs. Uh, do, 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 do. You think they found my dead yet? I'll, he'll, I'm sure he'll miss me. They found something. This is about as far as he can get. All right, as we cut to Dorian. All right, uh, Dorian's going to run around and uh, stab this ghost. 
with one of the forks he stole earlier. All right. And I will make my improvised weapon attack at uh, 15. A 15 will hit it. All right. And then that's 1d4. So that's three damage. Three damage as you stab into it. Unlike the previous ghosts, um, this one doesn't seem to even react to it. Uh, you do stab it. It just doesn't seem to emote or speak. Um, as huh. it just simply looks down at the wound, basically at the thing stabbed into its body, and then looks up at you. It's not good. It is, it is not good. Now I need you to make a wisdom save. Oh, no. Hang on one second. 19. 19. For a split second, it almost seemed like you stabbed Paul Bunyan. Uh, but uh, on realization, you managed to hit your target. Oh. Huh. Uh, you feel like this thing is messing with your mind. Yeah. All right. I'll be my turn. All right. Tarzan. All right, Tarzan uh, is going to take another swing at him with Excalibur. 17 will hit. Or Hold eight. I'm going to do, you... do Savage Tagger and see if I can get that better. Nope, it's going to stay an eight. All right. Eight damage. You swipe across him. I need a wisdom save. Oh, shit. Wisdom. I'm not very wise. Five. As you swipe across, you feel it bury into uh, Cratchit here. Um, however, you kind of blink and realize that you've overshot. And Paul Bunyan, you are going to take four points of slashing damage. Uh, hey, Tarzan, watch what you're doing. Tarzan. As Tarzan... For a split second, from your perspective, Paul Bunyan looked as though he was mind controlled. He he wanted to kill you. Hey, look here, you blimey nit! Tarzan, no understand <laughs> your your feeble English. Speak ape like real ape. This makes Tarzan. This makes Paul Bunyan mad. He's a liability. All right. Well, guess what? It's Paul Bunyan's oh, turn after Tarzan. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Look, Tarzan, apologize when this all over. We we subdue, not subdue. We we knock out, uh, Tiny Tim Father here, and uh, Tarzan's gonna spend a key point to do flurry of blows and. Uh, Try to sweep kick okay. <laughs> Bob Cratchit twice. All right. Both of those will hit. I am going to need two different wisdom saves. Okay. I'll roll the damage once I know who they're hitting. <laughs> all right. First well, they, they're all going to hit Cratchit. Okay. But they... Okay. So first one and second one. All right. If you roll that damage real quick. And he's got to make uh, at least one deck save. I think it's only one, but let me double check. Uh, he needs to make a deck save. Uh, he rolled a 14. Oh, that's close. What is my number? No, he passed. It doesn't matter. All right. Uh, Paul, Tarzan swings at Cratchit, but he kind of, you feel like he does this on purpose. He overswings and smacks you for four more bludgeoning damage. Boy. Uh, but then, Tarzan, as you swing that second hit, you stop for a moment as you realize you were about to, to hit Paul Bunyan again, uh, overshooting the second shot. But luckily, his yelling at you, Oi, seemed to shake you out of it. Tarzan, not know what's happening. Tarzan, try use restraint. Okay, actually, actually, I can make him make that second. Paul Bunyan? I can make him make that second dex check, but I would be that 19, I think, right? 
Uh, I'll, I'll roll it again just okay. to say. That seems fair. Okay. Six. He does get knocked prone. Yeah, then he's prone. Oh. That's beat him, Paul Bunyan. Beat him up, Bunyan. Paul Bunyan's a. He's red in the face. Punched a couple of times by his supposed ally, Tarzan. Steam comes out of his ears. He gives one hit to this guy. And one hit to and Tux. one hit <laughs> to Tarzan. All right. <laughs> hey, you get advantage against, uh, uh, against our boy on the ground. All right. 23, 23 will hit him. I'm going to need a wisdom save after this also. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> He's not right. very wise. He's enraged. Yes. He swings, and Paul Bunyan, he, you know, you put a little more juice in it and swing past and hit Tarzan for three damage, slicing. Bunyan, what's wrong with you? <laughs> he goes, I'll show you what's wrong with you. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 God. Oh, Did you just oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. With your fucking axe. All right, fuck. Uh, okay, I'm so that... What is that four from? Okay. He has uh, two weapon fighting. Okay. That's uh, so 18. So second hit does more. Yep. All right. Well, hey, guess <laughs> what? I've still got Paul. eight. No, six. Six health. <laughs> Paul, when he said that, like, what Paul Bunyan doing? He, he's acting almost as if you caught him. You caught this betrayer amongst oh. your ranks. And that's why oh. you buried your axe into him. Bunyan, oh evil, man, Bunyan. I hope Paul Bunyan comes. I hope Paul Bunyan comes up. to his senses. Yeah, as oh, Paul no. <laughs> stabs him. What? What does Babe see? Babe is watching this happen. Fuck up, Babe. Uh... Killed Tarzan. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm sorry. There is one thing. Babe looks up and sees the ghost. They can see it because animals can. Oh shit, Babe! <laughs> oh man, Babe would. Does Babe recognize that this ghost is messing with Paul? Yes, it's pretty obvious. Plus, um, Dorian is probably making quite a scene. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Babe runs around and then rushes the ghost. Okay, and uh, attempts to gore and or trample. For a 14, that probably doesn't make it. 14. See? Actually does hit it. Oh, well, there right. you go. I want to move it over just a second. Okay. Uh, um, as Bay does that, uh, Bay needs to make a wisdom save. Okay. And uh, right, Babe. Babe's a wise old ox. Yeah. As Bay uh, charges Paul for a second, it looks like Bay's gonna hit you before Bay kind of leaps up and seems to gore into the air uh, near you. Uh, You're not ghost. sure what the fuck's going on. It is wild. Uh, but Paul Bunyan's just sort of like frust He's like frustrated and mad right now. Yeah. But uh, but a ghost, I think, needs to make a strength save. Uh, strength save. Uh, unfortunately, this ghost does not because it is immune to the prone condition. Okay. But Paul Bunyan's just in a daze at this point and yeah. kind of feels bad for what he did. Fox, you... No, you don't feel bad at all. Okay, Paul Bunyan doesn't feel bad at all. He's in a He's... frenzy. <laughs> He's in a frenzy. <laughs> and I'll say that you see that, Fox, as you come down the <laughs> stairs. Oh god! So there's like Tarzan blood everywhere. Like Paul Bunyan's got an axe, is losing his shit. Yeah, and Tarzan uh, screaming. Fox. Tarzan, that Paul Bunyan's killing Tarzan. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> well, Paul with Bunyan entirely has and, a has a mental image of that painting he saw earlier, or the and, picture um, he saw earlier. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, oh. And Tiny Tim's dad is all fucked up on the table. Um, yeah. 
Okay, shouting, drop the fucking axe, Bunyan. Uh, Fox is going to run towards him and using entirely non-lethal damage is going to punch him. Since there's nothing else in his hands, it'll be... Oh, they're both 11 anyway. If those 11, hit. Uh, we'll 11 miss, hit unfortunately. Come on, Bunyan, let's drop those axes. Is grappling a um, action or bonus action? You don't want to uh, grapple, it a, Paul. An action. It's an action? Oh, okay. Um, Peggy, however, does see the ghost, right? Uh, yes. Okay, he's going to go right for the ghost and try to bite him. All right. Uh, actually, there's a big fucking lumberjack here. Um, no, he he knows what's up with the ghost. He's a smart dog. All right, jumping, biting out is going to hit it. The ghost okay. sort of like shakes a bit, having uh, now starting to be attacked from all sides. Uh, is still hovering around Paul Bunyan. Uh, as we uh, cut to Doctor yeah, Watson. Dr. Watson. As Dr. Watson's gonna come down the stairs and he's just gonna see Red Fox trying to hit Paul Bunyan. Can I communicate out of turn? Yeah, you can. He says he's gone fucking crazy. He's trying to kill Tarzan. He's oh, bleeding him. with a hatchet. <laughs> yeah. in his... Tarzan yeah, tried hatchet. to kill me! <laughs> Absolutely. That's how get I'm this, get this ape man action. off of me. They're after, they're after all of us. You, get him, you big. You, we're on the same side now, it looks like, old fella. What? what? Just help me subdue him. <laughs> A fellow axe man. As I'm going to go with, uh, with Red Fox here because he's been the most sane out of everybody in the party so far. Um, Tarzan resent that. <laughs> you blimey twit! <laughs> you Oi! tell him. Don't, don't, don't get started with me, you swarty git. I, that's a gentleman like. I shove it, you wink. Anyway, Ratchet, as, stand up. As I'm gonna, as I'm gonna monkey fist, uh, Paul Bunyan here. Oh God, that hits me. Okay, as we're doing non-lethal here for six. Okay. <laughs> and then Paul's a big man. I'm gonna action surge and try to clobber him with the other fist. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> that one's as gonna as, as I'm gonna just put both of them up. Come on, big man. Show me what you got! Oh boy. As a... <laughs> Enough As of this gets... nonsense! To Cratchit, he gets up! You stay away from my new big friend, you ape! Rah! And he swings uh, two axes at, at Watson. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, he's doing this recklessly. <laughs> so he's Oof. getting... Oh, he has a God. 16. Oh, yeah. On both of Se those? 17 and a crit. So that's 10, oh, 18, 22 damage. Totally. Um, they both hit. On, on the first one, I want to try to uh, use my reaction. All right. Let's see it. All right. Let's post it again. Let's, God, please. You got me to 17. No! You don't! I have he, yet to actually be successful with it. He whack, whack, hits Watson twice, dealing uh, 22 damage. The monkey is still up. Chopping it, jump, jump! Do I see this now? I'm, it, I'm, a I, I'm a real... I'm a real Jack the Ripper, I am. Oh As my. it gets to Johnny. Oh my <laughs> word. Do I see him now? Yes. Uh, he is hulking out. One thing you do notice, in his arm is an injection um, with a strange green liquid in it, one you recognize that turned you into the ape you are today. Uh. 
as Johnny Appleseed bravely <laughs> takes his time going down the stairs. Just slowly <laughs> enjoying his apple. Just like, maybe by the time I get there, they'll be done with all this nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's Grendel. All right, Grendel's going to continue dashing. Oh, I think I'll hear my dad downstairs. As he says the thing I just said. Oh, it, he leans into Grendel. Jack's my, my dad's middle name. I see. <laughs> I will be glad to reunite you. <laughs> Fox is downstairs praying Grendel doesn't fucking show up in this mess. <laughs> As Grendel makes his way down the stairs. Does he actually? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As Fox turns around and sees Grendel and Tiny Tim. Why the fuck did I ever come to this island? What's, what's in all the hells of all the old ways is going on here? It's not in Jack the Ripper! Stay back, Randall. <laughs> Mr. Randall. I will Grendel, fucking shoot you. <laughs> I hear Dad. He's, he's, what's going on? I see all this blood. And he's like barely holding on to Grendel, so he can't quite get his sight. All right, I guess Grendel will use his action to dash. Okay. And he'll <laughs> hop over the banister, landing yeah. on this table here. Wow. Oh, hi, Dad! And slink and jump onto this table here. Uh, uh, Tony, Tony, Tim, what are you doing here? Uh as he is uh, disoriented at the moment. Uh, and uh, I think that will be Grendel's turn. All right, Dory. All right, uh, I guess I'm just going to keep stabbing this thing with my fork. <laughs> oh, that's a mess. Hey, uh, we'll miss. <laughs> Um, you actually don't have to make that save. Uh, as you you just completely whiff it. Well, that'll be Dorian's turn. <laughs> Take a step back to let the, the professionals handle this. Alright. Alright, let's see uh, how wise <laughs> Tarzan is. Because it's going to determine what he does. Alright, he's super wise. He has a moment of clarity. He pulls his two neural Geno bottles from his loincloth. <laughs> and he's going to use his uh, his action and bonus action, if you'll allow it, DM. To yes, feed we, them we, both because... to, to Paul Bunyan while saying, Ape no kill ape, ape together strong. Is that allowed? Yes, Tarzan. As you say it aloud, uh, I will say Paul Bunyan is fairly big, so getting up to his mouth will be climbing. a challenge. I'm good at climbing. <laughs> okay, so do <laughs> you true. climb up Paul Bunyan? Can I, yeah, well that well that we use like all my uh, <laughs> my movement. Yes, Paul Bunyan, fucking Tarzan, climbing all on you. He's like writhing, shaking, trying to trying to push him off of him. <laughs> And I shove All the right. first bottle you... in your mouth and I say, ape, no kill, ape. As then... you drink it, you will heal. And then I shove the second bottle in your mouth and I say, whisper in your ear, ape together strong. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a 48 plus it. six total for you. Go ahead and roll it, Tarzan. Uh, and... Because of that, uh, Paul Bunyan, you will have advantage against any wisdom saves, at least for the next round. Wow. 
All right. He proved himself to you. Does, so, so does this cause Paul Bunyan's rage to subside? I'll say he's more confused at this point. Okay. Okay. This man was trying to kill you, but now he's not? Like, what's happening? Uh, still hanging out on your back, though. Yes. Okay. Paul, Paul Bunyan is in a state of confusion. Unfortunately, Cratchit is also confused at the moment. Ooh, Cratchit. Cratchit and Paul did have a little bit of a coming together moment. <laughs> You know, uh, what's, what's happening? What the? What, what's the what's hell? going on? This monkey uh, just action surged on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what. Oh, man. Paul <laughs> Funyan, I got to say, would still be mad at this mo <laughs> Dr. Watson. <laughs> I suck. I'm going to I'm going to swing once at Dr. Watson. Please don't. All right. Bunyan, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just one time. <laughs> All right. Take a swing. No. 19. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, you did use your reaction, Rachel. So that's that's out the window. Um, roll that damage. <laughs> eh, the good that's doctor Dr. is down. Boof. Dr. Watson is, <laughs> oh, God. is sliced across, falls doo -doo -doo, down, unconscious and bleeding. Paul Bunyan uh, looks over at Mr. Cratchit. Uh, uh, Tony, close your eyes. We're surrounded. Don't. Do not close your eyes, Tim. There's monkeys everywhere. Oh. Uh, <laughs> And he looks at you, Grendel. <laughs> you give me back my son, you damn dirty ape. <laughs> I'm not a monkey, I'm a man. <laughs> and, uh, Babe, trying to be the, the, the animal of reason here, continues to attack the ghost. All right. Oof. That's going to hit. The ghost starts to dissipate a little bit. Some of its black sort of tethered cloth starts to sh disappear, shedding from its form. Mm. Mm. <laughs> in that instant, it falls in Babe's turn. <laughs> Fox. Okay, so... Dr. Watson okay. is on the ground bleeding. <laughs> Yeah, Watson's on the ground bleeding. Bunyan's still all fucked up. We've got Grendel over there ready to do some bloodshed. Be a Jack the Ripper up there. Um, Shaggy is going to give a few like nervous friends stop fighting barks, but then snarl and bite at the ghost of the future. All right. Does 23 hit? 23 oh will hit as For it six. bites onto the, the ghost. And it's actually going to rip it off of uh, Paul, who suddenly has this wave of like, oh, what? Like that rage instantly goes away. Oh. Oh. Oh, I fucked up. It's just Watson bleeding with an axe. In him. Oh. Wound. I'm like, oh, give, no. Like, <laughs> Fox, we like treat Watson. And then he is going to go right across because it's kind of obvious Bunyan is like out of whatever fucking enchantment he was under. He's going to go over and swing on Jack the Ripper over there. All right. You will have advantage. I'll have advantage. Uh, because, Excellent. Yes, because he, he was reckless attacking last turn. Okay. I'm still going to go with the uh, as soon as my character sheet loads my unarmed strike thing. All right. Boom. Uh, does 20 it, hit? Uh, it will hit. It'll be the 2d8, which I guess is actually lower than the 1d6, unfortunately. It's a five? Yeah, for five. As you boom, clock him good. Oh! You're like, uh, you don't want to kill people in front of your son, man. Let's calm down here. Uh, uh, Ty, t Tim, what are you doing? Close your eyes, boy. Close your eyes. And Tim, like, covers his eyes. Like, just get on your face. Like, get on your face, man. 
You don't uh, want to do this. Make a, I guess, a persuasion. Okay. <laughs> and then he will tempt the wisdom if we hit a certain DC. Or <laughs> he goes. Uh, so I came no. under arrest. No, no you're not. not. <laughs> you're not going to take my son from me. No one's trying to take your son. Ah, he starts swinging wildly. <laughs> not my we... beer getter. <laughs> As Watson is laying on the ground bleeding. Ooh, one failed save. Uh, crotch it. He's pissed. He, you, you're not, you're not gonna take my son from me. Ah, close your eyes, boy. I'm coming. Uh, as he uh, recklessly attacks, but he does have disadvantage. So these are just regular attacks. He's gonna swing one at Grendel and one at Fox. Uh, regular attacks. So this one is at Grendel, and this one is at Fox. Grendel 24 does hit slaps the, the punch away. All right. He misses, uh, you know, having, you know, been slapped away by Grendel as the ax continues to swing and slices across a uh, fox. 14. Okay. For 14. <laughs> ah! As it's Johnny's <laughs> turn. Johnny comes down the stairs. Yeah. I wonder where everyone is. Uh, I guess, is it very noticeable where the noise is coming from? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, okay. I think I just... I think DM might have uh, dropped connection. All right. We're back. Right, Appleseed. Yeah, what did he, he do? Walk, he comes down the bottom of the stairs, but uh, is it noticeable where all the fighting's coming from? Yeah, there's probably quite a lot of noise. Uh, where's the noise coming from, or do I have to make a perception? It's coming from this way, and Doolittle will just tell you they went that way. Um, uh, all right. Oh, oh, man, that's a... Johnny will play in an apple seed in the corpse. <laughs> all right. There really isn't much corpse left. Yeah, it's all right. It's fertilizer. And you'll play in an apple seed in this corpse. All right. That uh, was five, ten, thirty. And that's all right. where all he gets. All right, Grendel. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the team I'm at a loss what to do. I, I don't know, because I can't see. But my dad sounds really, really confused and angry. Should I kill him? <laughs> I'd prefer it if you didn't. Uh, I do love my dad. And you did tell me not to listen to my mom. But you didn't say anything about my dad. How's your relationship with your dad? I'm afraid there isn't one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know he died. Perhaps this isn't the time, Master Tim. Uh, Grendel's gonna look down at Cratchit. Yes. Uh, what, what, what's this guy looking like? What's he doing? His muscles are all flexed out real, real hard. Uh, he has like a, an injection needle in his arm and he is swinging a great axe in a big wide circle. Uh, you feel like it's coming back towards you. Mm. Normally I wouldn't bother Tim, but for you. And Grendel will try to knock the uh, syringe out of his arm. All right. Let's make an attack. Yeah, I won't attack wildly for this because it doesn't seem like well, I should you be have, able to do that. You actually have advantage against him because he is reckless attacking. Okay. 
Randall doesn't mind if he breaks his arm. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Uh, you punch forward. Uh, roll that damage just so I can get kind of an idea of how hard you're hitting it. Okay, that's good. As, <laughs> as you go, you hear a sickening crack as you punch his arm, breaking it. As he goes, and he kind of foams at the mouth and then falls unconscious. Well, team, I think that took care of that. Uh, as he falls to the ground, he <laughs> reaches up to Paul Bunyan and he goes, Save me, boy! <sighs> Paul Bunyan gives him a a hearty woodsman axeman's handshake. The kind where you grab the forearm. Yeah. And then Cratchit falls unconscious and releases. Now, yeah. can anyone please tell me what is going on in this room? Paul goes, oh, oh, no. And he rushes over and cradles Dr. Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Watson with this huge axe wound. Watson dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, goes, where is the axe oh, wound? Oh, I'm sorry. Bunyan, did you treat her? Where, yeah, where is the axe it. wound on, uh, on, uh, on Watson? It's just straight across his chest. Um, <laughs> Babe. Well, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, Tarzan will... When it, uh, are we still going in turn order, or are we out of order? Just because I figured we still got that ghost to deal with. Um, We're going in turn order, at least for this little run. But okay. we can make it quick and we can be lenient. So I figure Dorian is not um, here, so this could be Tarzan's turn. He was just going to climb down from Paul Bunyan and do his best attempt at using a rope to keep Watson together as some form of medicine. And since it's not something <laughs> that can be tourniqueted, I think it's literally just keeping two split halves, two cleaved halves together. I don't think it's that Put bad. Put pressure I on it, Tarzan. Tarzan, save no, Watson. No, no, no. No, Watson, Watson, save Watson. <laughs> Do Watson make there are no make leaves. a death save. Need leaves. I can't make a death save. It's not my turn yet. Make Need make leaves. a death save. All right. It's, Tarzan helps. It ain't that bad. Tarzan helps. I'm guessing Watson just coughed up a bunch of blood. Yes. Tarzan yeah, just needs put pressure on it. It's a cut. Tarzan needs leaves. Paul Bunyan knows what to do in this situation. Tarzan he's leaves. been he's been living in the mountains for a long time. He looks at this dirty floor and whoosh, spits on the floor and makes a little poultice with the mud and <laughs> rubs it in Dr. Watson's cut. <laughs> Make a medicine check real quick for me, uh, Mr. Bunyan. Okay. <laughs> I like all this primitive medicine we're doing. <laughs> okay. Dr. Watson, make a death save. Hey. Okay. Is that a success or a fail? I actually don't know what I happens. I believe it's a success. success. I think it's I think, a success. I think 10 and higher is a success, yeah. All right, Fox, it's your turn as Paul Bunyan is smearing mud into the open wound. <laughs> <laughs> not, not just mud, like floor dirt. Yeah. Oops, and spit. <laughs> And spit with, uh, and rope. What's Crazy. Tiny Tim's dad doing? Tiny Tim's dad is unconscious. He's just laying on the ground with a broken arm. Okay. Okay. Um, Spread some of that whole juice in there. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do we there have any little... more? Do we have any more of the healing potions? The neural units? Somebody's got them. They were all Tarzan. used on Paul Bunyan. Tarzan used his right, two. I didn't, I didn't Tar collect any. Yeah, other people should have some, but Tarzan used his two on Paul Bunyan. Ah. Um, I'm going to check. Hold Watson. your hand oh. out, Fox. Okay. I do so. And <laughs> Grendel will lean over and cough up a very wet neural geno potion <laughs> into fox's hand thank you i'll uh i'll feed it to watson as watson you feel that nice nectar what is it or what do i roll 
Uh, two D eight plus three. Okay. In one second. And was that an action or a bonus action to beat that door? It's a bonus. Bonus? Okay. I don't have anything that can hit a ghost, so Shaggy's just going to bite the ghost again. All right. There's a 10. 10. I will miss. I'm going to go square up to it, though. <laughs> All right. In case I find something. Kind of how I'll punch the air just in case. Oh, actually, I guess I had to use an action to order Shaggy, so. Just go well, over here. As Watson, you were waking up on the ground with a huge wound being cradled by Bunyan. All Good, right. the spit's working. I will, I will <laughs> second wind. Number 11. Back up to 23. Hell yeah. As uh, Cratchit is unconscious, Johnny Appleseed begins making his way downstairs, probably. Yep. And where is the thing to go down the stairs? Uh, it is over here, is the stairs. Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm talking about where I'm at. Oh, it's uh, behind back here. Uh, it's 5, 10, 15, 20. 20 if you get to the top of the stair here. Uh, Appleseed will poke his head down. You see this absolute fucking shit, <laughs> Huh. No one dead? Uh, as that happens, Red, you hear a voice. In fact, everybody in here is going to hear a voice. Um, as it begins to talk, uh, this shadowy thing, um, Red, you actually recognize it. It is similar to a uh, a monster that you are currently hunting. As it goes, mm. you all have proven yourselves capable enough. I will relinquish the soul of that old man. But, if you really want to take this to the end, follow me. Come to where my master lies, Dracula, in Transylvania. And once that voice is done, suddenly, boom, Fox, in front of you, this burst of blackness that turns to bats. Uh, Grendel, you recognize uh, this particular thing as they whoo, fly around, swarming the room uh, before all of them retreating up, knocking past uh, Appleseed and leaving the building. Uh, the sound of a chain snapping. Uh, as the house suddenly becomes quieter, the storm outside slowly coming to an end, as you feel like this night is over. But not with one more noise that echoes out the sound of a bell, for it is Christmas morning. <laughs> Congratulations. This Christmas Carol is over. Tarzan right. <laughs> says to Bunyan, Tarzan and Bunyan make great team, save Watson, and holds up his hand for a high five. Tarzan is a friend in my book. Thank you. And he shakes, he, he high fives you back. All right, now roll unarmed strike right. damage for the high five because you're fucking huge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did, did you roll that? My mouth, buddy. Or do you roll? roll do you roll damage. unarmed strike? I don't know what oh, your class God. is. What is your class? Uh, it's just a D four, yeah. 
a D4 plus your strength. All right. With your strength. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Oh, it's only four. Oh, Tarzan's Tarzan unconscious. Six, six. <laughs> <laughs> As Tarzan is smacked, it just falls unconscious. Tarzan! And he, he goes cradling you. And he goes, yeah. hang, hang on. Hang on. I, I'll do what saved... What saved Dr. Watson. <laughs> Again, another poultice. Smearing dirt. Smearing some it. dirt. He As... grabs Babe's udder. Gets a little milk. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! I, love, I love that we keep flipping back and forth that Babe's male and female. <laughs> 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 Babe only has one udder. Yeah, Babe's got one udder. <laughs> He's got one big udder. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Babe smile. Uh -huh. Hold on. Hold on. At the end, <laughs> Babe turns to the camera, has a big smile, and in cow says, I guess today was a Christmas miracle. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. we end tonight's Babe session. looks at the camera. <laughs> no. Scene. Scene. Yeah, on that note, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more explosive, friendly fire that results in character death from the Adventurer's Landing.